Hello everybody, my name is Shauna and welcome to a 30 minute intermediate to advanced cool combos workout. You may have already tried the beginner one and you're like, okay Shauna, I'm ready for the next level. Or maybe you're just like, let's throw this one at me. Either way, we're gonna get started with the warm up. We have a lot to do today. We're going to begin with the T-Rex standing rollout. Let's bring your straps to mid length. Stand facing away from the anchor point. We have an abbreviated version of my favorite warm up. Everything tight, roll those arms out a little bit and come right back so those handles are directly beneath your shoulders. We're setting that super strong active plank because, spoiler alert, there is a plank involved in every single exercise we're doing today. Shoulders away from the ears, buns tight, eyes out ahead of you, quads are tight. We have five, four, three, two, and one squat row combo, keeping those straps at mid length, stand facing the anchor point. Lean back, bend those knees, squat and plank, big row and squeeze and reset. You may know from some of my past videos, but I had a major hip reconstructive surgery five months ago. My squats and lunges are still not amazing. I'm sure you'll see some funny movements as I try to make space for my hip. So you'll probably be going lower than me. <laughs> and sometimes my demonstrations might not be as awesome as I would love for them to be. Five, four, three, two, and one. Forward lunge with Y fly. Stand facing away, arms in that Frankenstein position. Big step forward with your left foot. Lower the right knee down front, heel grounded. Push into those handles, come back up to the top. Step forward to the right foot. Lower the left knee down, stretch. Push down into the handles. Focus on opening that front side of the body. We got a bunch of lunging to do today and a bunch of pressing. So I want you to really mobilize the shoulders, open up the hips, engage that core. 10 seconds left here. And we'll do some lateral lunges as I set up our workout today. Five, four, ooh, three, two, and one. Lateral lunges, strap stay at mid length. Stand facing, we're going side to side. So here's what we got. We've got four different cool combos. We're going to build up to each. And one of them we have to do two sides. So technically we have five different cool combos. And we're going to go through all of those cool combos, take a one minute reset, and then we'll do them all again. So that first time through, you can kind of focus and learn on what those movements are and, and where you need to be. And then the second time through, you can start to challenge yourself a little bit more with those movements. Three, two, and one. We're gonna begin right away in 30 seconds here. We're going to begin with a T-Rex single leg squat. Those straps will be at mid length. I'm gonna have you stand facing the anchor point. Options for those single leg squats. I'm gonna take one of the regressed options. I'm gonna center my right foot. You can set one heel down to unload your body weight. Otherwise, this other leg can be out ahead of you. Either way, I want you to go straight down and up. Try not to fall backwards. Three, two, and one. With these single leg squats, you have the control. How low you go is up to you. So I can't go all the way down now. You might be able to do a pistol squat. However, can you do that pistol squat with a neutral spine? Or are you tucking your tail under? Also, notice how I'm standing upright the entire time. You should find a little bit of slack in your straps between each repetition. Again, you'll notice I have my left heel down. You don't have to do that. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, crossing balance lunge. Let's get that set up together. So I'm gonna have you set your left leg behind, set it down. Now bend both knees, pick up the back leg. That's the bottom. Come back up. You're going to lower down to that same position and come right back up. You ready? Crossing balance lunge. Bend the right knee, reach the left knee behind the right heel. Come all the way back up. Option, if that's really hard for you, you can set down that left foot. Chest is up, shoulders are checked down and back. Getting that left knee just past your left heel. This is a hard one for me, but I bet you're rocking. I just chose the really rough one for me right off the gate here. <laughs> shoulders checked down and back. Bending from that knee, driving through your heel, two and one. Shake it out. Now we're gonna combine those two exercises. We're gonna do a single leg squat, and then we're gonna reach that left leg through and do your crossing balance lunge, alternating those two. You decide how low you go, you decide how much you use the straps. 
Try not to dump your body backwards. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Here's your single leg squat. Woo. And then that crossing balance lunge. It might be tempting to look at where your knees and feet are at first. That's fine. But then get that gaze out ahead of you for proper posture. Down controlled, back up. Again, you decide how low you go. Also option to use that kickstand. Ah, five, four, three, two, other side. Shake it out, good. Whew. All right, now we have to do our T-Rex single leg squat to our crossing balance lunge on the other side. Are you ready? So we're gonna plant that left foot now. Single leg squat again, option to set the heel down. Here we go, chest up tall and proud, elevator down, elevator up. Option to set your heel down. Whatever option you take, keep going. Make sure you have this neutral spine and this isn't happening, especially near the bottom of your squat. And that might mean you have to have a shorter range of motion and that's fine. 10 seconds left, as low as you can safely go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Notice how I can go lower on that side. We're gonna do our TRX crossing balance lunge. Let's get set up together. Take that right leg, step it behind, boom. And then lower down to your curtsy, pick up the back leg. Hey, that's the bottom of your lunge. Come all the way back up. You ready? We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Crossing balance lunge down. Drive it back up. Weight is in the heel. Chest is up tall. And again, I'm going straight down. It almost feels like somebody kicked my knee out from under me and I just kind of dropped down into this lunge. Make sure my right knee is coming past my left heel. It's getting warm in here, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Here comes the sweat. Five, four, three, two. It's combo time. So single leg squat. Crossing balance lunge, my left foot stays planted the entire time. My right leg is gonna be in front and then swing through behind for that crossing balance lunge. And this is a timed set. If you wanna go faster, you're more than welcome to. Three, two, and one. Let's begin with our single leg squat. Weight in the heel. Use the straps as much or as little as needed. Swing that leg behind. Chest is up tall and proud, making sure you maintain that neutral spine. And again, you decide how low you go. Some of you might be here, that's okay. I'd rather you be there with rock and form than to destroy your back Whew. just to get your bum down to the floor. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this next cool combo is one of my favorite. We're gonna do a T-Rex low row, but straps will be at mid-length for this one. I know you T-Rex experts are gonna be like, wait, 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 it's supposed to be fully shortened. Bear with me. Straps are at mid-length. Stand facing the anchor. I'm going to come way back here. You'll see why in a minute. Low row. Eyes are up. Body straight and strong. Straighten your arms. <laughs> I apologize if I'm really small right now. Now notice how my body's in a nice straight line. My shoulders are away from my ears. My buns are tight. I'm engaging behind my shoulder blades. My ribs zipped in. Are you doing the same thing? We've got 10 seconds left. Big check though, make sure your toes are up towards your shins. If you put your toes down on the ground, people tend to arch their back. Three, two, and one. TRX chest press, and again, I'm facing this way for a reason. I know I'm closer to you than you probably want me to be. Super strong active plank, squeezing everything, and you probably remember the deal. The further back you are, the harder it is. The further forward you are, the easier it is. Get those shoulders away from your ears. Tight bodies, two, and one. Here we go, we got a chest press and squeeze. I am so excited for this next combo. I bet you haven't done this one yet. It's hard, but it's so fun. All right, with these chest presses, are you really corkscrewing your hands into those handles? Are you focusing on squeezing your buns tight? All right, here's one of my favorite cues that's probably not appropriate for most places, but you are holding in a fart. <laughs> that makes you squeeze your bum, doesn't it? Three, two, and one. Here's our combo. Low row to chest press. Your low row has to be really low. Okay, all the way down here. And then I shoot through to my chest press. If your low row is not very low, 
then I want you to do a row and step through to your chest press. All right, here we go, team. This is your trial round here. So low row, pull up and through, squeeze, Ugh. chest press, drive it back. Again, feel free to take some steps in between each of these to make sure you're in a safe position where your body is planked. I don't want you to end up in a position where those hips are sagging or you have to arch your back to finish the movement. Once you get it though, isn't it kind of fun? Four, three, two, and one. All right, next combo, TRX lunge to TRX push-ups. Straps are at mid-calf length. Grab both handles in your right hand. Look at the bottom of your left shoe, left shoe. Point that toe, pop it in. Good, meet me on the ground. Front heel, one foot in front of your back knee. Squeeze your buns, here we go. I know that was a quick transition. If this exercise doesn't feel good for you, you can turn around, face the anchor, and do balance lunges, kind of like what we did in that first set without the cross. Otherwise, your torso, tall and proud. Front heel, really grounded. Back knee, two inches off the ground, comes right behind that front heel, about a foot behind it. All right, keep that foot in. We're going down for push-ups. Option one, you're on both knees. Option two, right foot is down. Option three, right foot is elevated. Oh, whichever option you choose, make sure your back is nice and straight. I'm gonna show you all three options. Pick your poison now. So option one, I'm on both of my knees. My ears, my shoulders, my bum and my knees are in a nice straight line. My eyes are out ahead of me. Option two, I come up, but I keep my right foot on the ground. I'm corkscrewing my hands in the floor, squeezing those buns. The final option, the hardest option, this foot is off the ground. You really have to fight that super strong active plank. Single leg butt kick. I lied, keep that foot in there. Don't take it out. We have our cool combo. We're gonna do a TRX burpee, friends. So it's gonna be a TRX lunge, TRX push up, option to jump. Are you ready, guys? Going in three, two, and one. Come on down, push up, knee comes in, jump if you feel safe. Hey, my hip can do this. Strong plank, everything, take your time. You're going to get to see this again, so consider this your figuring it out round here. And also realize your heart rate's gonna go up. Whew. Push, drive. Knee in, ha, explode. Strong plank, squeeze it, brace it. Single leg butt kick, other side. Grab both handles with your left hand. Feel free to pause if you need more time. Bend your right knee, pop that right toe into those foot cradles, meet me on the ground. Make sure you're slightly in front of that anchor. Left heel, one foot in front of your right knee. Stand it up. Game starts now. 30 seconds, let's go. Down, down, down. Right knee is one foot behind my left heel. Chest is up tall and proud. Shoulders check down and back. Super strong, tight, active plank. Whew. Notice that spacing between my front heel and my back knee. It's tempting to really kick that leg back. I want you to keep your body straight up and down and lower down by bending that knee. All right, it's push-up time. Come on down, we'll go over those options again here. You can be on your knees, both knees. You can have just your left foot on the ground, or you can elevate that left leg. Again, I'm playing wow wow, but with my right hip, I'm not gonna be able to elevate my left leg long, but I'll show you one or two. All right, starting on your knees. You don't have to, but I'm gonna show you. So we have this knee push-up option here. Now, even this one is very challenging. Shoulders are checked down and back, driving those hands into the floor. Next option. That left foot is on the ground, both legs are straight. I'm really actively pushing into those foot cradles to create that nice, strong core tension. And then the hardest option, maybe you're already there. I'm just gonna do one. <laughs> but that left leg comes up. Three, two, one. It's burpee time, everybody. Come on up, slowly, carefully. Remember, with your burpees, you've got options. You don't have to jump. You don't have to do push-ups. You do 
what you need to do. All right, you ready? Going in, three, two, and one. Come on down, strong plank, push up. Bring that foot in, if you're going to, jump, stick it, press. Remember, you can pick any one of those push-ups we did too. That the both knees can come down. You see I'm keeping my left foot on the ground. That back leg can hover. Check your foot alignment, your knee alignment when you come back up. Making sure you keep that spine, that body nice and straight. Three, two, one. Single leg butt kick, grab some water. We made it through the first round of work. You've got one minute. We're gonna grab some water. Now we're gonna see it all again. Now you know what you're doing. I'm gonna grab my water, it's over here. Now you know what you're doing. So I want you to try to make it a little bit more challenging. Or maybe you felt like you slopped through it a little bit. Now I want you to focus on where your body is in space. So maybe you're gonna use this second opportunity to slow it down and make things look a little prettier. All right, once we're done with the water, we're gonna begin with those single leg squats to the crossing balance lunges. Straps are at mid-length. Go ahead and stand facing the anchor point for me. Center your right foot to the anchor. Notice how my hands are out in front of me slightly. A little bit of slack on the straps. Can you go lower? Can you use the straps a little less? Absolutely, as long as your form looks good. Plant that right foot. Check the shoulders. Here we go, we're back on. Single leg squat, elevator down. Whew. Crossing balance lunge, knee comes past that right heel. If you look down to check like I just did, now bring those eyes up. Elevator down, and single leg squat. Chest is up, shoulders down. Ground in that front heel. Oh, you see what I did there? I was already going into that crossing balance lunge. I was so excited. Shake it out. I was so excited about that combo, I brought you into the crossing balance lunge already. Now we're just gonna do the crossing balance lunge, then we'll do that cool combo. I'm on my A game today. Uh. All right, so let's do our crossing balance lunges next. So ground that right foot, and here we go, crossing balance lunge. You'll just get a little more of these today, and you can never have enough crossing balance lunge. What I really like about these is A, they incorporate balance, which is important. B, you'll notice by the stretch and contraction on the outside of your hip, really good for strengthening these abductors, these external rotators of the hip. Okay, and obviously a lot of core stability as you're only on one foot moving through this range of motion. Two and one. Shake it out. All right, now we'll do that combo. Get to see it for a third time. Single leg squat. Swing that left leg through to your crossing balance lunge. Are you ready? Center that right foot. How low can you safely go? I bet you're gonna go lower than me. In three, two, and one. Ground the heel, single leg squat. Swing the leg through, crossing balance lunge. And again, don't be afraid to use your hands. That's why we're holding onto the suspension trainer. That allows us to have better form and to have a greater range of motion with less pressure on your joints. Plus, I've never met anybody who can do a crossing balance lunge without using the straps. I don't think the physics allow for it. Three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. Single leg squats on your left leg, and just single leg squats this time. Center your left foot to the anchor. Remember your options. You can set the right heel down if you need to. You can do a little one, or you can go all the way down, but make sure you're maintaining this neutral curve of your lumbar spine. Three, two, and one. Single leg squats down, down, down. Up, up, up. And remember, I'm not dumping backwards. You see the difference between this and going straight down and straight up. I should be able to flap my straps between each rep. Down, down, down. Drive, drive, drive. Extending the hips in front of me on the top. 10 seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, it's crossing balance lunge time. Remember to get set up for those if you wanna try this with me again. And this is just helpful to get your mind in the right spot of where you are. That foot sets behind you, lower down. Now pick up that foot, but don't change anything. That's where you end up on the bottom. That's a fun trick. All right, going in three, two, and one. Crossing balance lunge, elevator down, 
elevator up. Just like those TRX lunges we did earlier, ensure your torso is staying straight up and down. Um, as my friend Renee says, you're the letter I in an elevator. So I'm not going forward and backwards, I'm lowering straight down, and the torso stays straight up and down. We have 10 seconds remaining, chest is up. Four, three, two, and one. Let's kill that combo on this side. Single leg squat, crossing balance lunge. Are you feeling breathy or is it just me? <laughs> All right, we're going in 10 seconds. Ground that left foot. Shoulders check down and back. Are we ready? Three, two, and one. Single leg squat. And reach that behind. Crossing balance lunge. Again, how low can you safely go with proper form? Lowering straight down and up. Chest is up tall and proud. Again, if you're going way down there, make sure you're not dumping all the way back and you have that nice neutral spine. I'm gonna be real sore tomorrow, team. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's do that low row to chest press one again. We'll begin with those low rows. Again, straps at mid-length. So did you kind of get the hang of this one last time? If you're not gonna step through, you have to have a pretty steep angle for both of those exercises. And if you don't, that's fine. You just have to take a couple steps between. Here we go, low rows, straighten and squeeze. Really focus on that form here. My shoulders are down and back, buns are tight, body is planked. <sighs> Engaging behind the shoulder blades, think of juicing two oranges in your armpits as you come to the top of the movement and you're always in charge of that angle. You can walk back if you need it to be easier, you can walk it way under if you need to be harder, three two, and one. Let's go forward for that chest press. Same deal. To make this more challenging, you can walk it back a little bit, but I want you to make sure you can keep that super strong active plank, that nice straight line from your ears, shoulders, hips to your heels. Surfboard body plank. It's so funny. I'm talking about surfboards. I'm in Wisconsin, and it's cold. <sighs> strong plank, down, down, down. I think that's why my brain isn't 100% today. It's because it's been winter here for a long time. And I am so ready for some sunshine to go out to the lake, bring my suspension trainer, my rip trainer, my bandits to the lake. <laughs> One of these days I'll try to film a workout out by the lake, but it's hard to bring all the electronics and find power and all that and not have everyone at the park be like, what are you doing? Go ahead and come on out of there. All right, we're gonna do our low rows. Swing through to chest press. Feel free to take those steps. But again, the secret is to have a fairly steep angle. Also, make sure when you swing through, you're not arching your back too much to get to that other position. So low row, walk it under as low as you safely can. Three, two, and one. Low row, tight, chest press. Swing it through. Got it, strong plank, low row. Squeeze. Again, feel free to take those steps. You don't have to keep your feet grounded in one spot. It is a fun challenge though. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, time for those TRX lunges. You ready? Straps are at mid-calf length. This is a quick transition. Both handles in your right hand. Bend your left knee, pop that toe through both foot cradles. Meet me on the ground, line up that lunge. We're gonna start with those T-Rex lunges. You ready? In five, front heel grounded. First one counts, three, two, and one. Squeeze and lift. Ensuring the knee of the right leg is tracking directly forward. Hips are square, that's my problem. Chest is up tall and proud. You're putting pressure in that back leg too. That helps keep you balanced and stable. <sighs> Try not to donkey kick that left leg back. And just like our crossing balance lunges, single leg squats, I'm once again the letter I in an elevator. Three, two, and one. It's push-up time, come on down. Option between knees, right leg down, right leg elevated. I'm gonna choose the right leg down option. <laughs> I wonder how long I can use my hip as an excuse. Might, might milk this for a little bit. Five, four, three, 
two and one. Super strong plank. Feel free to float that right leg for a bigger challenge. Corkscrew the hands. Or again, maybe you can start with that right leg floated. Then you can set it down. Are those ears, shoulders, hips, ankles in alignment? Again, are you actively driving your hands into the floor? Is everything straight and tight and strong? Those buns are tight. Pressing the floor away from you. We have five, four, three, two. It's burpee time, everybody. Come on all the way up. Ah. Options. You can skip the push-up. You can skip the jump. You can do the push-up on your knees. You can do a tiny jump. You do you with this burpee, but make it look pretty. Going in. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you make these same noises when I get down and up off the ground. <laughs> I feel like that's very indicative of being in my 40s. I can kind of blame the surgery, but it's also just the noise I make at this age here. Three, two, and one. Single leg butt kick. Whoo! All right, grab both handles in your left hand. Left hand, rubber handles. Bend your right knee. Pop that right toe through both foot cradles. Meet me on the ground. This is where we start. Let's get lined up. Front heel, one foot in front of your front knee. We're almost done, everybody. Let's do those lunges. Drive it up. And then down, hovering that back knee. One foot behind your front heel. Chest is up tall and proud. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Grounding that heel. Squeezing the buns. We're almost done, guys. We got this. Your push-ups. One more round of burpees. It's going to be awesome. How's your form? Is it just as good as when we started today? All right, one more lunge. Let's come on down for some push-ups. You got those option knees. One foot down. Float that left foot. I'm going to keep my left foot down. We're going in 10. Set that strong plank. Think of really driving those hands into the floor. Push your right heel into the handles. Here we go. 30 seconds of the best push-ups of your life. And it's only 30 seconds. That's not a lot of push-ups. Probably not even 10. Squeeze and brace. Drive those hands in. Now you're counting your push-ups to prove me wrong, aren't you? You're like, I did 15. Tight, tight, tight. Pull those toes towards your shins. Straight and strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Our final set. Burpees on this side. You know the drill. Let's make them look really good. Body stays plank the entire time. Whatever's left in the tank, let's use it safely. You ready, team? Going in five, four, three, two, and one. It's burpee time. Here we go. Hup. Really pushing that floor away from you. Think of your hands as like Iron Man repulsors, just pushing yourself off the floor, levitating, tucking that left knee under you. If you are jumping, make sure you land right in that same perfect position. Alignment to get ready. Three, two, and one. Oh, single leg butt kick. Let's do a couple stretches and call it. Wide stance, hip hinge, straps are mid-length. Shorten them up a touch, stand facing the anchor. Walk it back, arms straight out in front of you. Wide stance, toes forward, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, push your bum back. Drive those hands forward. Now we're only doing two stretches. Feel free to hang out and do more. I've got some stretching videos you can look up, but uh, we hit it hard for that 30 minutes for sure. While you're down here, bend one knee and then the other. Really think of lifting your tail up to the ceiling. Thinking about that neutral spine we talked about during those single leg squats. Give me a big inhale. Exhale, slowly roll that up. Into our TRX chest stretch. Again, straps are at mid-length, stand facing away. Thumbs are up, one foot in front of the other. Press those arms open. Shoulders check down and back. Make sure those thumbs are up and you're not dumping forward. You decide the intensity by how far forward you are. Now, if your right foot is in front, drop the left arm down, 
By left arm, I mean right arm. <laughs> Reach the left arm over the top. Nice side bend stretch. Back to the center, switch your feet. Now, if my left foot is in front, I'm gonna drop my left arm. Bring the right arm over the top. Really push into that hand. Walk it back, feet together, forward fold, take a bow. Just hang for a moment. Let those hamstrings loosen up, release some of the strain in your back. And come on all the way up, give yourselves a hand. Amazing job today. Um, we just got through a really challenging combo workout and experienced some of the really coolest things about the TRX suspension trainer, which is we can flow lots of exercises back to back without having to change equipment, without hardly having to change anything and create some really cool combinations. So again, thank you so much for spending 30 minutes of your day with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Again, my name is Shauna. Have a great rest of your day.